you want to do whatever goal you want to achieve go get it move don't let background hinder you background they chris even if you come from paco come out hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl az williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so it looks like we are in the season of lawsuits by ex big brother niger or big brother titan housemates yes guys so um a few days ago we had the the whole drama that happened between Melissa and Kosi, which ended up um, having both of them say they are going to resolve it or solve the issue in court. It looks like we might be having the same issue on our hands with our ex BB Niger housemates. So, an unconfirmed report came out that ex big brother niger housemate chi chi is suing the winner of her season fina for the sum of 100 million naira for defamation of character yes guys so um this is all based on um fina saying that she's married with two kids remember all those things that fina said about her you know about how she went to cyprus for stripping and then the whole poisoning issue yes guys so according to what's on the streets it said that chi chi had decided to take it up um in the law court as there is this evidence that she is suing Fina for the sum of 100 million naira, else Fina should also come out to apologize to Chi Chi and to also debunk everything she said in that video. Now, what do I have to say about this? Hmm. Well, I'm not against people going to court, you know, to resolve their issues. For me, I feel like that's a decent thing to do. If you cannot, you know, resolve whatever issues you have in person and you feel the court is your last resort, then take it. There's nothing bad about doing that. And I pray and hope that this is not just some social media stunt because we've had in the past, you know, prominent people or celebrities come out to be like, oh, I'm going to sue this person and they um, put out documents um, showing that they are actually suing somebody. But at the end of the day, we don't hear anything of it again. No apologies are given. No court case is being heard and all that. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments section. Now, away from that, but still on FINA. So there was this program yesterday that was held by the Honest Bunch, which is the famous Nidus podcast. Um, but this time around, I think they did a physical one instead of the one they do in their studios and just put out on YouTube and other streaming platforms. So FINA was also invited and she said something that caught a lot of people's attention. Listen. As a girl, as a girlfriend, I don't think you should expect soft life from boy when they marry you. If soft life they hungry you, go meet your papa. If soft life they hungry you, go meet your brother. So that was Fina in that video answering a question that was thrown at her by the moderator. And basically she's saying, if you want soft life as a single girl that is in a relationship and you're not married to this guy, 
don't be expecting or imposing that this person gives you soft life. Go and ask it from your dad or from your brothers because these are people that um, are obligated to give you that in some way or the other. But if you feel like, okay, your parents are not there, your dad, your brothers are not capable, then go get the soft life to yourself. Now, this had a lot of people reacting. Some people were like, oh, she's saying the truth. Some people were like, no, she's acting like a pick me. Oh, you're not used to soft life oh that's why men are not liking you and all that then i keep asking myself is it that people don't listen correctly or comprehension is the issue um in that video fida never said oh soft life is a bad thing neither Neither did she say um your boyfriend cannot spoil you she's basically saying do not be entitled in people's or on people's property as long as it's not yours um if your parents are not cannot provide that for you your family members cannot provide that for you so why on earth are you entitled to another man's money that is not your husband like if you have a man that spoils you i mean all good and fine but if you see that this man does not have the capabilities to spoil you why are you entitled to his money I mean, I don't get it. Why people are bashing her? Are we not still the same people that are saying that a woman should work for her own money? Like, yeah, we all want to be spoiled, right? But I mean, if you don't have your own money and it's only the guy that has the money to spoil you, is that not a way of, you know, opening the channel for abuse? I mean, we've seen that happen a lot of times. So why are these other people angry at what she said? Or is it that, oh, it's about, oh, what she's saying might be right, but I mean, we don't like her. So whatever she says, as long as we don't like her, it's not cool. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section. Now, away from that, there's also been this rumor hmm, about Big Brother Niger ex-housemate Beauty Tukura. Yes, guys. So it's been said or it's been rumored that she and Neil are having a thing. Now, you guys remember Neil, ex-Big Brother Niger housemate, was dating V. Yes, guys. Even though a lot of people were like, oh, V could not even wish um, Neil a happy birthday after everything new did on her birthday that year and all that well this just came and apparently this person saw neo and beauty exiting a hotel together and this is a text this person put out said i saw neo and beauty together they've been together for days i think they are dating if you look at the video well you see her standing outside immediately they came out of the elevator she quickly went outside then the security guy helped them push their luggage outside while he went to drop the room card at the reception hmm this is some juicy stuff what do you guys think do you think they're actually dating i refuse to believe let me use the word like that i refuse to believe that they are dating like i see them you know beauty was at um Mio's birthday party at the club they were all like even when they went for the trend of a word you could see how close they were but dating i mean there's there should be another reason why they are um in a hotel together right i mean we've had this issue before i think with um rose of ultimate love and white money that year does it mean they are dating People of God, this one, I put it to you guys to help me figure this one out. Because for me, I refuse to believe that they are dating now. Ask me why. I think, uh, uh, but how? Are they dating? Um, I don't know, Jerry. I refuse to believe it. Even though, yes, yeah, this person saw them exiting the hotel together. But, I mean, you don't know. Maybe they were shooting. Maybe they were doing adverts. You don't know. Maybe they were creating content. You don't know what they were doing. So, but, anyways. Anyways, anyways, that's what me, I think, Sha. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Or maybe this is another way to create buzz around them because maybe one of them or one of them is actually going for the all-stars hmm anyways anyways whichever one shall let me know what you think about all this in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed what exactly are you waiting for kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video Yo, until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Nay Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.